Happy October. We're almost getting closer to Halloween. Today on Haunted Indiana, Ghosts and Strange Phenomenon of the Hoosier State, written by James A. Willis, we'll be covering another classic legend here in Indianapolis. The Hannah House. This is episode 31, episode 4 of season 3. The smell of death at Hannah House. When Alexander Hannah began funding the construction of his Madison Avenue dream home on the south side of Indianapolis, he was just looking for a place to live and ended up serving a much bigger purpose, part of which might have led to the hauntings of the home that continue to this day. Completed in 1858, the house soon became a stop on the Underground Railroad, harboring escaped slaves on their way to Canada. The secretive nature of the organization meant few records were kept so there is no way of telling just how many refugees Hannah helped or where they were hidden. It is believed, however, that the most were hidden away in the basement. One night in the basement, according to one story, one of the escaped slaves accidentally knocked over a lantern. Soon a large part of the basement was on fire and as the flames spread, some of the refugees began to burn. Hannah and the other slaves managed to contain the fire before it spread to the rest of the house. They were unable to save the lives of the burned victims. Legend has it that the victims were secretly buried in the basement of the house. Hannah, a prominent figure in Indiana history, originally built the house for himself his staff, but at the age of 51, he married Elizabeth Jackson, and another wing was added on for the servants. Hannah and Elizabeth remained in the Hannah house until the late 1890s, at which point it was sold off. There is no evidence that the Hannahs experienced anything paranormal inside the house. The next owners, however, quickly became convinced that there was something weird going on in the basement. Not knowing that escaped slaves were allegedly buried down here, the new family dismissed the strange noises as normal sounds that old houses make. The one thing they couldn't ignore was the overpowering odor of what could only be described as death that would waft through the house. Eventually word leaked out about the bodies that might be in the basement. Suddenly it all came together and made sense. Interestingly enough, once people began talking openly about what had happened in the basement, the smell of death began to dissipate, and then went away altogether. Of course, there was still the occasional odd noise and groaning that emanated from the basement, but overall, things calmed down considerably. Maybe that's why the Hannah decided to move back in. There are ghosts, that is. In the upstairs room, doors and windows began to open and close on their own. Chandeliers moved by themselves as well. There was also what sounded like people talking in hushed tones. An older woman, believed to be Elizabeth Hannah, is also seen walking around on the top floors. As for Alexander Hannah, his ghost has been seen throughout the building although he seems to prefer hanging out 
near the balcony area. I've been to the Hannah house a long, long time ago. And I can tell you that, well, for one thing, where I live currently, um, I'm about 10 minutes away. I am literally 10 minutes away from the Hannah house itself. And when I visited the house a long time ago, it was on a field trip. Now, I'm not going to lie and say I saw ghosts or whatever. I barely remember because it was close to 1993? It's when Batman Returns was in the box office. So we're looking about maybe 92, 93. And my food is done. So I'm going to wrap this up real quick. I barely remember being there. But I was there. Now, I will say that even though I didn't know about it, and the field trip was marketed as, you know, visiting a historical site. There was, you know, some fervor of this is a haunted house. I will say that my very young me did kind of pick up on something unsettling. But since I was so young and I didn't know anything, I couldn't explain it. The Hannah House is still active. They do tours and they have parties and you can do things there. It's part of the Hannah Haunted Acres during Halloween time here. Of course, when we went, um, it was during the summer. I was at a daycare, so. And we would go on field trips. But, uh, that's going to about do it for this episode. If you have any questions about my further experiences, and I can gladly tell you what I remember. Or if uh, any questions at all, please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. Uh, be sure to click that little bell icon to stay informed for the next exciting episode. And uh, all my links to my social medias are down in the bottom. And I hope you have a wonderful and awesome October. <laughs>